how to add video background banner to Shopify homepage. Hi guys and welcome to this exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add video background banner to Shopify homepage. So on your Shopify homepage you have a lot of options to add images, videos and much more. But you don't get it right away. You will get it after adding some codes and editing some codes on your PC. And if you don't know how to do that, it will become a very lengthy process. You will have to do a lot of research and roam on internet from here to there. But today in this tutorial, I will sum it all up and show it to you in just one video. So there's a lot of utility in adding a background banner to your Shopify homepage. It makes your homepage more interesting, engaging and more attractive and that holds your customers eyesight on your Shopify store. So first up, in order to start, we'll head to our Shopify dashboard. So this is my Shopify dashboard. Here you will see a lot of options, home orders, products, customers, content, analytics, marketing, online stores and point of sales and also to add much more applications. So here you will have to first of all in order to add a video background banner to your Shopify homepage, click on the online store option and then you will see a lot of sub options under online store. But here we will not go to customize for our online store. We are going to basically come on this home page, click on the three dotted icon right here and click on edit code option. So after you click on edit code option, you will see this edit code for craft option. And here also you will see a list of codes right here. Basically click on this drop down menu and make it compact. Make this compact and then you will see a lot of folders like structures right here. And in here, we will have to click on the sections options and then we will get an option to add a new section. Basically click on this add a new section option. Then you will see this pop up that says add a new section. The first one is liquid. The second one is JSON and here you can add a file name. So make sure it is set to liquid and in the file name you can enter anything. So I'm going to enter background because it is basically going to be a background and make sure you don't type in any space to give your file a new name. So basically in coding, you don't put up a space. Instead of a space, you will have to click on the hyphen option on a PC and make and type in a hyphen img and dot liquid. So type in any file name that you want. Make sure there is no space between the file name and click on done. And here we will have successfully added a new section and you will see this little code right here. So copy all these codes and press backspace. So delete all the codes from here. And here we will have a fresh canvas for coding. But we are not going to do a lending coding in order to change the background image of our basic Shopify store. You will have to basically click on the link in bio and then you will see this website that is pastepen. So you can type in this URL and hit enter or alternatively simply click on the link in the bio and this website will open up. From here what you'll have to basically do is, if you scroll down you will see 1, 2, 3, 4 lining that will look something like this. It will appear as a code. Basically copy this code, this whole code from the starting. Copy the whole code as I'm doing right here. Go to the very end of the code. So this is a 900 line code. I will copy it to the end and right click on it and click on copy. After that, I would have successfully copied this code. Now I will head back to my Shopify store and here into the section that I had created that is background image liquid. It will also have a name that you would have given it. So under the sections, make sure you are exactly in the section you have created and then place your cursor in this coding section and press CTRL plus V and paste all this code into this coding area. And after pasting your code, make sure your code is normally pasted here and simply click on the save option at the top right corner. After you click on save, this code will be saved under your sections. Now you will have to click on the exit button at the top left corner and here refresh your online store that is Shopify dashboard. And on the Shopify dashboard, click on online store. Then you will be promoted to the theme section. Here you will have to basically click on the customize button under your current theme. Click on customize and theme editor will open up. So this is my product store. And here you will see these options right here. And you will have your product code in this. 
simply click on add section option just right here. So I'm clicking add section and here you'll have a lot of options to add any section. And after you scroll to the most bottom, you will see video background option. So you don't get this video background option automatically. If you didn't copied and followed my steps that I've shown you, you won't see this video background option in this sections option. It is only because we copied the code from this website and pasted it in the edit code section of our Shopify dashboard to the sections option of our edit code. So we basically added another section that is video background. Now we have the option to add video background. Click on video background and you will see a video background drop down menu right here. So I have successfully added a video background element to my website. Now to change this video background, click on this area and you will see a custom CSS option in this video background. Go back, click on the video slide option just under the video background. Click on video slide and here you will see an option to paste a video link and you can also add a cover image to your video. You can select it or explore free images that is stock images from Shopify. You can add a text and in the heading you can add any heading to your video. For example, aliens. And you can also add a description to describe your video. You can add the text color, button label, button link and much more to your video. So basically what I'm simply going to do is paste the video link here. So you can't upload videos to this. So you can basically paste any link to this video link and that will be added to your Shopify store. For that, we will have to first save this, click on the exit button then and we will be promoted back to our Shopify's dashboard. Here you will have to basically click on content option and then we will be promoted to this meta objects field. Here we will also have the option for files. Click on files and under the content every file that we would have uploaded to our Shopify's dashboard will appear here. Click on upload files and then select any of the videos that you want to add as a background banner image or video for your Shopify. So for example I will locate the files that I want to upload as a video. So this is my file that I need to upload as a video banner image for my Shopify. So it's uploading right now. So after your upload gets finished, this will show a file uploaded prompt at the bottom right corner. You can also preview your file that you have just uploaded. And after reviewing your video, you will have to click on the link option that is copy link symbol. Click on this link and this link will be copied to your dashboard. Here we can see that our link has been copied. Now we will move back to our online store. Click on online stores and this will take us to the themes section. Click on customize here. After that, we are back to our theme editor. Here you'll have to basically click on the video background option and then you will have the subsection for the video background that you have created and named it anything that you want. So I had named it aliens. I will have to click on it and this menu will appear where I will have the option to paste a video link. Click on paste a link or search and paste the link that you just copied here by pressing CTRL plus V or just by right clicking and choosing paste option. So here I can see that I have successfully added my video to this Shopify's website. Now going back, if you want to just move this banner image to the top section of your website, you will have to basically hold this option. You can see right here, this is the three dotted icon. You will have to click on it and take it to the top if you want to add this video at the top of your website. You can add it anywhere you want. You can see as I move it on this menu, this video also moves onto the website on the right corner. It will be a preview. So I will add it at the top corner. So I have successfully added this cool banner image on my website. Now if you want to do more editing for this banner image, click on it and click on the delete and this banner image will be easily deleted. And now if you want to know how this looks on your mobile phone, click on the mobile option at the top right corner and here we can see that my website is looking this cool on my mobile phone. We can see right here, this is the quality of my website that I'm getting right now. So it looks very cool on my mobile phone. Click on desktop to get back to the desktop view. But here in the mobile view, we are going to see that we are unable to view the text right here. As you can see, if I switch on the desktop view, I'm able to see this absurd fashion text. But if I switch to mobile view, we are not able to view the code in this video banner. So in order to fix this problem, I have a trick. You will have to simply click on the exit button, 
and go back to your Shopify's dashboard. Here you're going to click on the three dotted icon just after the theme you were editing and click on edit code. After you click on edit code, you will have to basically click on the assets folder right here. So navigate to assets and then select base.css code. And if you click on base.css, you're going to see a lengthy code. Just scroll to the most bottom part of this code. And here we have this line at the end. Place your cursor here and go to this site that is pastebin.com. And I will also leave the link to this website in the description of this video. You can also alternatively type in this HTML link in your browser and you will be navigated to this page. Or you can also click on the link in my bio that I'm going to mention and come over to this website and copy this code from this website. So just simply copy the code from start to the end and right click, click on copy. Select this code, copy it, come back to the editing section that we were into. So we were into base.css under assets and we were at the end of this code. Now place your cursor right here at the end line, right click and click on paste. Click on the save button and then this code will be saved. Now click on exit and then go to your online store themes and click on the customize button again. And here we can see that we are now able to see the text that we have added to our online store. So our code really did work. We have successfully added this text to our code on mobile phone. Now your text is going to appear on your mobile phone too. Click on the exit button and go to the online store and click on view your online store. And here it is. This is how my store is looking like with this video banner image that I just added. So I added this video image banner and onto it I have added this text and also a description for what my brand focuses on. And under to that video banner, I have added this browse our latest product section. So my homepage is looking very cool with this animation. And you can also add it just by following the steps that I've shown you. Make sure the image is properly customized according to your brand's values and fashion it is providing. And make sure it contains video that is appropriate and that is also audience appropriate according to your shop visitors. So that's a wrap up for today's tutorial on how to add video background banner to Shopify homepage. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Remember your product category pages play a vital role in shaping the shopping experience for your customers. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow Shopify store owners. Also let us know in the comments if you have any question or there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover in future. And as always, if you want more e-commerce insights, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you get the best tutorial videos on Shopify. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy selling.